Hey everyone, Turing Hacker here, and we're playing Kingdom Hearts. This is part 17, and we're gonna go re enter the tournament today, try to complete the preliminary round, winning all the battles this time. Last time we lost against Cloud. We're not gonna let that happen again today, so. Have looked at some of the strategies that I used in the previous episodes and trying to take whatever worked and use it to the best of my ability. That the to my ability is the problem. Because I, I can almost any of these battles I can get through with very little damage, but doing them consistently becomes a problem. So Having no ability to heal besides a couple items, which we pretty much want to save for the end, becomes hard. So, basically the first strategy I found that seemed to work, and for the most part it seems to be working so far, is on these early battles, just like Goofy and Donald take most of the damage, because it adds up little by little each round. And they recover once they get knocked out. I do not. So that's definitely something to watch out for. Some of the later ones, it doesn't help as much because everything hits harder and they're usually knocked out by that point. No matter what I do, whether I have them with lots of health, whether I have them with little health. But we're just going to keep going with that approach because it, it does seem to work, at least to an extent. Thunder. Thunder is also good for clearing rooms, which is good. It's a nice area of effect attack. Fortunately, you still need magic to use it, so that's not so helpful, but... If I sound a slight bit different today, that's because I got a little different audio setup. I got a, I, I just got myself a pop filter, so I should sound a little clearer. And I'm also changing some audio settings, so if, if I do or don't sound better, please let me know. Uh, I'll keep adjusting based on what everyone says that I sound like, you know, good, bad, or other. So. And I know, all the trolls are going to post other. But that's okay, whatever. Anyhow, um, yeah, so changing some audio settings, got a pop filter, uh, trying to just, you know, make it sound as good as I can. Because it, it nothing's worse than listening to someone who has really bad audio. I know, I've, I've been there, but that's okay. So, we'll keep improving little by little, and eventually it'll sound perfect. If it doesn't already. It might, I don't know. So, like I said, just give me whatever feedback you got. Okay, against these guys I'm gonna jump some. Ah, they jump so much! These ones just kind of keep running around the outside of the ring. And when you get near one, hit it. If you're running in a circle, unless you run right in front of them, they can't really do anything to you. See what I mean? Because all their projectiles go a straight line, which is... It's good, because you can figure that out. So, gonna need to use a potion before this next round. I'll sick Goofy and D Donald on them to hopefully buy me a little time to do so. And then, let's see. It does not work against the fire type ones, though. They tend to float up in the air, so you want to get underneath them if possible.
You can also actually deflect their projectiles if you're really good at timing. But the cloud fight is actually very similar, I noticed, to the Riku fight on the island. So it, it's actually not a terribly complicated fight. There's just a lot of timing and patience involved. And those are kind of the two hard things when it comes to this sort of game. That can actually always be deflected with the sliding dash. 100% every time. That I've seen anyhow. There we go! Okay, and so we leveled up, so we got more strength. I believe we have enough health to withstand one hit from Cloud. Hopefully it's not his... Hatch! Hatch! I have no idea what the move's called, but... And of course, Donald is dead. What else is new? Actually, gonna try to use fire against him. Actually, he whittled down his health pretty well. From what I can tell, it looks like getting at a distance from him is good. Gives me time to use Sliding Dash. Allows me to counter him properly. But the problem is he can close the distance so fast. I wonder... wonder if I can just use Sliding Dash just in and of itself. Just that. Because it closes the distance. Ah, damn it. And he doesn't seem to ever actually counter it once I do it. Get him, Donald. Get him, Goofy! Okay. I think we got this one pretty much summed up. Yes! Okay, we beat Cloud! Take it, Cloud! We are completely out of items now, but that is okay, because we beat him. After all the trying, all the training, all the rocky music while running up the steps, we finally beat him. And we actually get a slightly different cutscene. Of course, because Hades loves to double-cross us. So, like I said, slightly different. That I was gonna say, it was just random blue sky for a little bit. I've never actually played where I got to see both cutscenes. I, I think I have seen that one before, but I don't think I've ever, like I said, seen both. So, ooh, that was close. That was Seabrus, the guardian of the underworld. Herc should be able to handle him. And we actually did it in not bad a time, but then again, maybe not. This doesn't look good. Okay, so definitely the secret against Cloud was definitely the slide dash combined with the roll. By doing the two of those, we were definitely able to gain a leg up on him. For Cebris, I'm not so sure what the best strategy is. We still have nothing to give Goofy, so that's sad. It makes no sense to change anything else for equipment. But items we do need to do something with. Okay, we can go with a Mega Potion. That's going to heal everyone. I'm going to go with two potions. Uh, 
and then a Mega Potion on me. Because that makes the most sense to me, because getting everyone up is useful at times. And we'll give each one of the Knuckleheads one. And we will see... Actually, wait. Do they have... Ah, there we go! Oh, finally! Characters own unique styles. Switch styles by pressing left or right. Personal. Regular attacks. Frequently. Offensive magic. Constantly. Of course. Constantly. HP items only in emer... Really? Only in emergency. Offensive. Regular attacks. Frequently. Offensive attacks. Okay, so there's lots of items here. Supposedly, those are the options. Balanced might... Eh, no. I guess I'll leave it on personal. Okay, so... We're all geared up. Now save once more. Sorry that saving a bit sporadically, but I'm just so glad I finally beat Cloud. So now we are going to go on to attempt to get Cebris. Kid, you're not entering the arena, are you? This ain't some real, just some match. This is for real. That does not sound like Danny DeVito. You can decide if I'm hero material or not. Careful, kid. I have no idea who that sounds like. Rule number 96. Lift with your legs. And we have the exact same part of this cutscene. So everything else, basically, from here on out is all the same. We just did that, so... You know, that's good. I got two words for you. Attack! That's one word, of course. And that's always the joke, that he can't count. Okay. Um, I believe, if I recall correctly, the best way to get up in his grill is to jump on his back, which unfortunately gets a bit difficult many, many times. Ooh, but from up here I can do it. Okay, that didn't work so well. Oh my gosh, they use up their items, magic, everything so quickly. Wow, I have been of little use this time. What is he attacking? Someone tell me what he's attacking. I don't know. Dead bodies? Okay, I'm not really sure yet what a good strategy is against him because I never really had to have one. Well, spinning in place definitely doesn't seem to do anything. Which would make sense. I'm not, like I said, I'm not really sure what to do here. Ow, that was definitely not what to do here. Oh dear, I remember this. It's not really that bad because if you keep running straight, or in a circle or whatever, you, you keep going in a constant direction, it doesn't catch up with you, but... It's not the easiest to fight when you're doing that. You just never want to double back and you never want to stop. Okay, so when he does that, I'm definitely going to do this. Ouch. Okay, we're going to have to use our Mega Potion. Everybody up! Fire! Fire! Wow, they really do not last long. Oh dear. 
This is a bad place to be. Like I said, if you ever stop, you're dead. Because it keeps hitting and hitting and hitting. We are running into some issues with these guys. And the thing is, you can't really attack them while this is happening either. Because... It, like I said, if you stop, which you have to do basically to attack them... So basically, attack, jump back. <laughs> attack, jump back. Attack, jump back. Kiss myself! So I, I get the impression with a lot of these, it's just these battles aren't difficult. It's always just timing. You get the timing right, you do it correctly. You never get hit almost at all. You get the timing wrong, you die. In proud mode. Regular mode, not as much, but... Then it's more of a timing is optional. And no one has any items left, do they? I know I don't. Jump back, kiss- Oh, damn it! Okay, um... Yeah, we're gonna have to reload that. This is why I was so intent on <laughs> saving, saving, saving. Make a change save, make a change save, make a change save. So, we're through the preliminaries. Now we got the big battle of Seabris. But I think I'm going to have to pause it here and we will do that next time. I will see you in the next part.